Before we get to the important stuff, I just got to tell you that Uniqlo tried to do me a little bit dirty, okay? They tried to release their ugliest, most boring Animal Crossing shirts for guys. Now I know a lot of you AC players out there are female, you have a lot of options, but I wasn't about to let a word on top of a section header stop me. I'm rocking a women's shirt and it looks fantastic. It fits just great. These Able sisters all up on my body and I love it. So you know what? It is Zach from Switch Force 1, Uniqlo 0. Well, actually, it's more like Uniqlo 1999 because I still gave them 20 bucks. But hey, if you're a guy out there looking for a cool AC shirt, you can totally rock the girls. Ah, isn't it beautiful? I think this is my favorite time of day in Animal Crossing when the sun is right there, but you can't quite grab it. It's just a whole bunch of oranges, yellows, pinks, and blues. It's the golden hour, right? That's what they say. All the different glows. But this game is doing anything but glowing, my friends. Animal Crossing New Horizons right now is actually uh, committing some crimes. So we've got to discuss all the latest news and give you the updates. What is going on in this usually wonderful world? What's going on, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Make sure to smash that like button if you're ready for the next update. And let me know in the comments down below how you feel about all the stuff we are going to discuss today. Now, I got some cool new stuff to share with you. But first, I want to start off with Isabel. And just let me know in the comments, like when you see... Nintendo and Animal Crossing doing the stuff we're about to talk about? Does it just... Does it make you feel like they just forgot about you? Does it make you feel like they just forgot about the game? Like, let me know in the comments, please. Isabel over here on Twitter, just trying to do her best, but at the same time, doing the worst. Hi, everyone. For my friends in the Northern Hemisphere, already we have a problem because what about all these Southern Hem players? Just, I guess, forgotten. Have you been cooling off in the water? If not, it's a great time to pick up a wetsuit and other splashy items related to Marine Day at Nook's Cranny. Now, pause. Do you know what's wrong with this tweet? I mean, first off, it's it's not the update we're waiting for, but second of all, Nook's Cranny? Pretty sure you get the Marine Day door blade from the Nook stop. Also, she says special items now available, acting like this is some big event, but really it's not. It's just not, <clears throat> it's just, <laughs> it's just, it's a door plate. I think I'm going to be sick from my lack of Animal Crossing updates. Isabel, you've done it to me. But luckily we do have something good to equal out something bad. These tweets just, I mean, we shouldn't hate on Isabel nor the person running the Twitter account. It's not their fault, obviously, but it bums me out. Like, I want to kick myself in the shin every morning when I see that 9 a.m. tweet. I'm like, could it be? And then it's not. But what is is this pretty fancy thing. Check this bad boy out, all right? We got a new item in the world of Animal Crossing, and it is the 2022 Animal Crossing New Horizons day-to-day -day calendar. Now, I think this is a schmexy piece of work, and I know a bunch of you are gonna probably wanna put it on your desk, dresser, bedside table, maybe on your chest. It is for pre-order right now, dropping July 13th. It'll probably sell out, so you probably wanna get on it. This is from Barnes & Noble, and look at this thing. It is a day-to-day -day New Horizons calendar, and every day has the birthdays of the villagers. Bob, January 1. Jeremiah, July 8th. Weird picks here, but Lolly, March 27th. Love her. Diane, uh, on January 4th. I'm going to put a link in the description down below so you guys can check it out if you're interested. Let me know if you're going to pick it up in the comments down below. I think, it's, I think it's pretty cool. As cool as ice cream on a hot summer day and much cooler and Animal Crossing as of late. Look, there's some weird stuff going down that we need to talk about. And I'm not even talking about, like, the lack of update. Obviously, that's a bummer. We know it. We're trying to be patient. Holding hands, joining in a circle, wishing upon a shooting star from Celeste, and, and just trusting that Nintendo will make good. I want to start off with Monopoly. <sighs> Nintendo didn't announce this, and the pre-orders are already gone. Okay, this is a pretty cool thing. Now, I'm not saying this is worthy of a trailer, but it's something nifty in the world of ACNH when we don't get hardly any nifty stuff. I talked about it last video. Looks darn cool. You got the little villager figures, all sorts of good stuff. It's going for 60 bones. That's a bell bag's worth, if you ask me. This thing retails for like 24. Crazy guy I am. I paid a ton of money for one on eBay and I ordered it. So we're going to check it out this weekend together and see what it's all about and see if the game is fun and if it is something you should hold out hope for. It looks like it's dropping in August. I hate to see this because this is not 
This is this is not fans. This is not AC people. This is just ooh, Nintendo, limited stock pre-orders. We can make money, and and that just bums me out. And it also bums me out that Nintendo drops a new Switch. You guys see the Switch OLED? Okay, the Switch OLED. You know, it's not the Switch Pro per se, but it does have a nice screen. And I think Animal Crossing New Horizons is really going to pop on that screen. It is going to like birthday popper confetti all over brighter colors more vibrant colors better contrast bigger screen it might become the premier way to play this game honestly you don't have to get it though if you already have a switch like it's not necessary trust me on that you can if you want and you play a lot of handheld but a better kickstand and a little bit bigger screen and some you know crisper colors probably aren't worth 350 dollars but what's weird about this is they showed a trailer with a ton of their upcoming games and a ton of their best games you know what game wasn't there? Animal Crossing New Horizons. This, to me, is a crime. What is their best community on Switch right now? What is their second best-selling game, soon to be first best-selling game, Animal Crossing New Horizons? And they totally left it out of the trailer. They just forgot about it. And if you say, you know what, Zach, that's not a crime. Everybody knows AC. They didn't need to put it in the trailer. I just think it's indicative of how Nintendo views the game right now. And... We clearly see the results, which is nothing. But there are some other crimes that I think you, 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 can't, you can't play devil's advocate on. There's no way to really work it. This is beautiful. Oh, I love it. But check this out. You remember this thing? The Nook Points app? The Nook Points app debuted in late March, and it was promising to be another way, an extracurricular, a side quest for us in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Give us something to do, something to work towards, something to collect, and new items while we wait between updates. Do you know how many times they've updated the Nook Link app and the items since this dropped over three months ago? Well, just as many times as they've upgraded the main game. Big Fat Zero. It's still the portraits of Nook, Timmy, and Tommy, Isabel, the Aloha Edition carrying case, and that strange, like, Christian rock poster of Tom Nook that you can put on your wall. I... They abandoned this. It's not, like, the greatest idea since sliced bread, even though I am gluten-free, but it is a pretty nifty idea, and I thought it was going to be a vehicle to introduce items without having to do an update, to introduce a little more Katrina action. She was chilling with her words of wisdom, and they just said, eh. They also kind of said, eh, to Nook Miles in general. I went back and I was reading some previews for when New Horizons was about to come out. This was very illuminating to me, because back when New Horizons was a month away in February of 2020, Journalists got to play a little bit of AC and H. They got to see about 30 minutes, and they were like, dude, Nook Mile's about to change the game. Mystery Islands, quests, ways to track your progress. I feel like Nintendo dropped the ball. I think in the same way that they introduced new Nook Mile quest with Earth Day that first time around, I think they should have continued to do that. And I think they should have really cemented Nook Miles as our main way to enjoy AC when we've already done all that can be done. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a way to continue to track your progress. And it's hard to go to infinity, but it would be so simple to just go into your freaking nook mile and add some more markers, to add some more goals, to add some more challenges. Like, that is an update that would take all of, like, 35 seconds. You just write it in. Draw a little circle. They already have the stamp holes. They already have the stamp. You just gotta make a new little outline card. Like, I can do 50 of those in Photoshop in five minutes. I'm telling you. This would be a simple way to encourage us to keep on going, even when they didn't have something brand new. So it bums me that they completely dropped the ball on that. And speaking of dropping the ball, I think they really dropped the ball on Amiibo cards as well. I think it is a crime that Nintendo did not deliver a big restock or easy availability for the Sanrio Amiibo cards or any other Amiibo cards really. Like, what the heck? You already have content out there. Keep it available for people that want it. Now, maybe a bunch of you already have the Sanrio Amiibo cards, but if you don't, they're still going for about $25 to $30, which isn't crazy high. But considering these things were supposed to retail for $5.99, that is still four times more expensive than it's supposed to be. And the average person doesn't want to go drop 20 extra dollars to get a few pieces of paper that Nintendo could pump out to do right by their fans. I mean, the Sanrio collaboration was an exciting effort in New Leaf, and then they duplicated it for New Horizons. It's one of the ways that they've kept 2021 barely above water. 
but they don't make it simple for fans to secure. None of the Amiibo cards are readily available. Like, we're not talking about a new set here. We're not talking about, oh, new Amiibo cards to fill in the gaps with all the villagers you added in ACNH but don't have their own dang card. We're talking about already existing re-releases of Amiibo cards that you've already made and don't have to spend anything extra on and could just print and put in these stores to make accessibility a focus. To make the fans a focus. And when I talk about these crimes, it's like, they are not thinking of what would be best for us. And I know it's their game. I've seen a lot of, just a lot of turmoil going around, right? People like, no, we should demand more. No, we should be happy with what we have. No, we got our expectations up. No, Nintendo got our expectations up. There is just so much on both sides. I feel like nobody knows left from right every, anymore. I feel like it's just, we want an update. But it, we want an update. But it's hard not to feel a little sad when Nintendo seems to just ignore us on all fronts, right? We talk about Monopoly, letting people know that their favorite game is getting a super sick board game. No, they didn't let us know. I'm not sure what went wrong there. Restocking Amiibo cards to deliver on something that would be a delight for a lot of players and an easy way to enjoy the game further. No, not gonna... Do that. Nook points. Hey, it's this fun thing we put on your phone that requires minimal effort from us, but we could inject some new life and items. No, not going to do that. I mean, we could talk for another 20 minutes about Pocket Camp and how they prioritize that. And I've seen a lot of you say like, oh, maybe it's easier to develop for Pocket Camp. I think they already have such a pipeline for Pocket Camp. I don't think it's about ease. I think it's about one, they can sell stuff at Pocket Camp. And I think they already have such like a routine, right? They just crank it out. They've got a system set up and they churn it. Now, why they don't have a system set up for their $60 product, I don't know. And frankly, why they don't just try to sell more DLC to the ACNH fans. At this point, I know a bunch of you would just buy it anyways. So then it's not even about the money. It's just about where their focus is and why they're doing what they're doing. My best take at this point, everybody, is that it has to be pandemic related. At the end of the day, when we look at all of these things that Animal Crossing is and isn't doing, all of these things Nintendo is and isn't doing, to me, they are not a stupid company. To me, Nintendo knows what's up. Nintendo is the industry leader right now in kicking butt. Their Switch has sold nearly 100 million units and they continue to thrive. I mean, they just put out a new model. They've got a ton of games. By all accounts, people love them. They're not dummies. They know how to do this. And so I feel like it's got to be just all the turmoil and chaos of the last 15 months now that has just thrown them for an absolute loop. And maybe the get back on the, the rails point is right around the corner. Maybe get back on track is just a week away or just a few weeks away. Hopefully once they do, hopefully things start to see a steady return to normal. And by normal, I mean frequent updates and paying attention to the players because I will be honest with you, it feels just from a bird's eye view, like they have flown the coop. Brewster, like he's not even in the region right now. Like Brewster, he's off there vacationing in Turks and Caicos, doing whatever he's doing, completely oblivious to what's going on in the world. That is where it seems like their headspace is at. And I hope they come back. Like I hope they are able to return to normalcy. Whatever the reason, whatever the culprit, man, it's gonna feel so great when they get back on track and believe me they will nintendo knows what's going on with this game it's not over the the the, the final song has not been sung okay kk isn't closing up shop he's not closing his guitar case and saying goodbye there will be more with this game and when there is it'll feel so darn good but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments down below everybody i appreciate you all so much thanks for being here sharing this with me the highs the lows the ups the downs the good updates the bad updates the no updates the big updates all the fun and everything in between life is a journey of emotions and we get to share all those feelings together which when you look back it's it's pretty great like we formed a real bond here the switch force ac family i think I think we're the tightest out there, and I cannot wait to see you all again soon. So until that time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you're going to grab that calendar. I might have put in a pre-order earlier today. In the meantime, though, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. I love you guys a lot. Thanks again. Hit that like button on your way out. Switch fours. Out.